What if I told you there is a hidden meaning behind the phrase as above, so below? These words, simple in their utterance, yet profound in their implications, encapsulate a concept that transcends, and philosophies and philosophies, this saying speaks of an interconnectedness, a mirror reflecting between the grand cosmos and the intricate workings of our own existence. Imagine, if you will, a mirror reflecting not just your physical form, but the entirety of existence itself. This mirror, however, is not bound by the constraints of space and time. It reflects the very essence of the cosmos, from the shimmering stars above to the depths of the human soul below. This concept suggests a fundamental harmony between the macrocosm of the universe and the microcosm of the individual. It speaks to the interconnectedness of all things, from the tiniest atom to the grandest galaxy, and hints at a deeper truth lurking beneath the surface of reality. But what exactly does as above, so below mean? And how can we unlock its hidden meaning to navigate the labyrinth of existence with clarity and purpose, allowing us to easily attain our desires throughout history? Various belief systems have interpreted as above, so below through their unique lenses. In the teachings of Hermes Trismegistus and Hermeticism, an ancient spiritual tradition as above, so below embodies the principle of correspondence. This idea suggests that there are patterns and forces that repeat across different planes of existence. The spiritual, the mental, and the physical. This means there is a connection between different levels of existence, such as the celestial and terrestrial realms. Just as the planets dance in a celestial ballet, so too do the atoms within our bodies. The macrocosm, the grand universe, is reflected in the microcosm, the world within each of us. In philosophy and metaphysics, the terms macrocosm and microcosm refer to different scales of reality each reflecting similar patterns and principles. The macrocosm refers to the vast and expansive universe, encompassing galaxies, stars, planets, and all cosmic phenomena on a grand scale. It represents the outer cosmos, the totality of existence beyond the individual. Philosophically, the macrocosm symbolizes the universal order, harmony, and interconnectedness of all things. It embodies the cosmic principles that govern the cosmos and the laws of nature that shape the universe. Conversely, the microcosm refers to the small-scale world, typically associated with individual beings, or entities, or entities. It encompasses the realm of the individual, including human beings, organisms, and even smaller structures such as cells and molecules. The microcosm represents the inner cosmos, the intricate and complex systems that make up individual existence, that make up individual existence. The microcosm reflects the patterns and structures found in the macrocosm, but on a smaller scale, suggesting a mirroring of the universal principles within individual beings. The relationship between the macrocosm and microcosm is often depicted as a reflection or mirror image with each containing elements of the other. This idea posits that the patterns, laws, and energies governing the universe are replicated within individual consciousness. As a result, changes in the microcosm may have reverberations in the macrocosm and vice versa, implying a deep interconnectedness between the individual and the cosmos. In Hermeticism, we find the concept of the hermetic axiom, which states, that which is above is like that which is below, and that which is below is like that which is above, for the performance of the miracles of the one thing. This hermetic axiom is often summarized as is above, so below, as below, so above. The phrase for the performance of the miracles of the one thing reveals the practical application of this principle. 
It suggests that, by understanding and applying the principle of correspondence, individuals can unlock the potential for transformative change, spiritual growth, and the manifestation of higher truths. The one thing refers to the underlying unity or source from which all things emanate, and the miracles represent the extraordinary possibilities inherent in aligning with this universal principle. This principle of correspondence forms the foundation of the concept of as above, so below, indicating that there is a fundamental relationship between things on a larger scale and things on a smaller scale. This implies that what happens on one level is mirrored on another. Another fundamental concept in Hermeticism complements, for example, light and dark are often seen as complementary forces rather than opposing ones. In practical terms, the recognition of polarity encourages individuals to embrace the full spectrum of experience, to accept the ebb and flow of life's ups and downs, and to seek balance and integration within themselves by acknowledging and integrating both light and dark, joy and sorrow, and other polarities within themselves, individuals can cultivate greater wholeness, resilience, and harmony in their lives. The polarity principle reinforces the wisdom inherent in the axiom as above. In the Bhagavad Gita, the revered scripture of Hinduism, Lord Krishna, impart to Arjuna the timeless wisdom of the cosmic order, explaining how the microcosm of the individual soul reflects the macrocosm of the supreme reality. Lord Krishna reminds us of our interconnectedness with all beings, declaring, I am the taste of water, the light of the sun. In ancient Egypt, for instance, the principle of Maat emphasized the harmony and balance of the universe mirroring the orderliness of the cosmos in human conduct and societal organization. In Hinduism, the concept of as above, so below finds expression in the idea of as within, so without, reflecting the interconnectedness of the individual soul. Man with the universal soul. Brahman, similarly, Eastern philosophies like Taoism speak of a universal energy, a life force that flows through all things. This energy, often called chi or prana, animates the stars just as surely as it animates our thoughts and emotions. We are not separate from the universe. We are part of it, miniature universes ourselves, microcosms pulsating with the same energy that ignites the stars. The Christian parable of Adam and Eve, expelled from the Garden of Eden for tasting the forbidden fruit, can also be seen as an allegory for this interconnectedness. As above, in the divine realm, knowledge is freely accessible, but by succumbing to earthly desires, by focusing solely on the physical world, the below, humanity severs its connection to the higher plane. The holism principle views the universe and everything in it as interconnected parts of a whole. As above, so below emphasizes that understanding humanity helps understand the universe and vice versa. They are not separate entities. In the words of the poet Rumi, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Just as the ocean is made up of countless drops, so too are we connected to the greater whole, united in our shared humanity and our shared journey toward the light. These are just a few glimpses into the multifaceted meaning of as above, so below. But the true power of this concept lies not just in its philosophical depth, but in its potential to transform our daily lives. Now, you may wonder how exactly can it transform our lives. The answer lies in its profound insights and guiding principles that can inform our thoughts, actions, and attitudes. 
Many modern spiritual movements draw on the principle of as above. So below to explain the law of attraction, the idea is that our thoughts and emotions shape our reality. Every action, every thought holds the potential to ripple outward, affecting the world around us. Imagine your mind as a miniature cosmos, a swirling galaxy of thoughts, emotions, and memories. Just as the celestial bodies influence one another through gravitational forces, so too do your internal states interact and shape your reality. A cluttered mind filled with negativity and self-doubt creates a chaotic inner world mirroring the destructive storms that can ravage a planet. Conversely, cultivating a mind filled with peace, compassion, and a sense of purpose fosters a harmonious inner environment. Much like a planet bathed in the gentle glow of a nurturing sun, the principle of correspondence reminds us that this internal world is not isolated. It extends outward, influencing your experiences and shaping the way you interact with the world around you. Have you ever noticed how a positive outlook seems to attract positive experiences? or how a state of anxiety can manifest as physical tension or illness. This is the principle of correspondence in action. The quality of your inner world directly impacts the quality of your outer world. On the grandest scale, the universe itself echoes in our existence. Our bodies are composed of the same stardust forged in the hearts of exploding stars. The very elements that course through our veins, the carbon in our lungs, the calcium in our bones, are testaments to the fiery birthplaces of the suns. Long past, we are literally made of the cosmos. Alan Watts, known for his work on Eastern philosophy, particularly Zen Buddhism, Explore the interconnectedness of the universe and the human experience, offering insights that resonate deeply with the principle of as above, so below. In his teachings, Watts emphasized the notion that our individual selves are not separate from the universe, but rather integral parts of it. He spoke of the universe as a cosmic dance, where every element, from the smallest atom to the vast expanse of space, is intricately linked in a dynamic web of existence. Drawing from Eastern wisdom, Watts described how our thoughts and emotions ripple outward, influencing not only our personal reality, but also the collective consciousness of humanity and the wider cosmos. He often used metaphors of waves in the ocean to illustrate the interconnected nature of life, highlighting how each wave is distinct yet inseparable from the ocean itself. Watts encouraged a deep sense of mindfulness and awareness, urging individuals to recognize their place within the larger tapestry of existence. He emphasized the importance of embracing the present moment and letting go of attachments to past regrets or future anxieties. In essence, Watts echoed the sentiment, expressed in the principle of correspondence, that the inner world reflects the outer world and vice versa. He invited people to cultivate a sense of harmony and balance within themselves knowing that this inner transformation would naturally radiate outwards, bringing about positive change in the world. You see, the concept that the grand design of the cosmos is mirrored within us speaks to the profound interconnectedness between the universe and human beings. It suggests that the fundamental principles governing the cosmos, such as order, Symmetry and harmony are reflected in the structure and functioning of our own beings. This idea has captivated philosophers, mystics, and scientists alike, leading to contemplation on the nature of existence, consciousness, and our place in the universe. At its core, 
This notion resonates with the philosophical axiom as above, so below. In other words, the patterns and processes observable in the vast expanse of the universe are echoed in the minutia of human experience. This perspective, from a scientific standpoint, the idea that the cosmos is mirrored within us, finds resonance in disciplines such as cosmology, neurology, and quantum physics. For instance, the concept of fractals, self-repeating geometric patterns found throughout nature, illustrates how the same patterns can be observed at different scales, from the galactic to the subatomic level. This parallels the complexity and interconnectedness found within the human body, where systems within systems operate in harmony to sustain life. Studies in neuroscience have revealed remarkable parallels between the structure of the human brain and the structure of the human brain and the structure of the universe. For example, the intricate network of neurons and synapses bears a striking resemblance to the cosmic web of galaxies and dark matter. This has led some thinkers to speculate about the possibility of a universal consciousness or a cosmic mind that permeates the fabric of reality, with human consciousness being a localized manifestation of this larger intelligence. Quantum physics has challenged conventional notions of reality by demonstrating the interconnectedness and entanglement of particles across vast distances. This phenomenon, known as quantum non-locality, suggests that separateness is an illusion and that everything in the universe is fundamentally interconnected. In this context, the idea that the grand design of the cosmos is mirrored within us takes on a profound significance, implying that our individual consciousness is inseparable from the greater consciousness of the cosmos. But this esoteric concept begs a crucial question. If the grand design of the cosmos is mirrored within us, can we, the inhabitants of the microcosm, influence the reflection gazing back from the macrocosm? One avenue through which we might explore this idea is through the concept of consciousness and its potential role in shaping reality. Many spiritual and philosophical traditions propose that consciousness is not merely an epiphenomenon of brain activity, but rather a fundamental aspect of the cosmos itself. From this perspective, the thoughts, intentions, and actions of individuals could potentially exert a subtle but significant influence on the fabric of reality. This idea finds some support in the field of quantum physics, where the observer effect suggests that the act of observation can influence the behavior of subatomic particles, while the implications of this phenomenon are still debated among physicists. Some interpretations suggest that consciousness plays a fundamental role in determining the outcomes of quantum events. Additionally, the concept of interconnectedness implies that changes occurring within the microcosm of individual consciousness could reverberate outward and affect the macrocosm of the cosmos. Just as a small pebble dropped into a pond creates ripples that spread across the entire surface. Our thoughts, emotions, and actions may have far-reaching consequences that extend beyond our immediate surrounding. In the realm of psychology, the placebo effect provides another intriguing example of how beliefs and perceptions can influence physical reality. Studies have shown that individuals who believe they are receiving treatment, even if they are only receiving a placebo, often experience improvements in their condition. This suggests that the power of belief and expectation can directly impact physiological processes. From a more metaphysical perspective, various spiritual traditions teach practices such as meditation, visualization, and intention, setting as means of aligning with the cosmic order and influencing the course of events. Whether through prayer, ritual, 
or mindfulness practices. Individuals seek to cultivate states of consciousness that are in harmony with the underlying principles of the universe. With the belief that such alignment can lead to positive outcomes on both personal and collective levels. But you may ask, how can we master correspondence in our daily life? The principle of correspondence whispers a powerful truth. The universe is a giant mirror, reflecting back to you the essence of who you are. Your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs paint a vibrant picture of your inner world, and this picture, in turn, shapes your experiences in the outer world. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of purpose and anticipation, a deep knowing that the day holds exciting possibilities. This optimistic outlook, fueled by positive affirmations and a grateful heart, resonates with the universe, attracting opportunities and experiences that align with your desires. The principle of correspondence is at play. Transforming your inner world of hope and joy into a reality filled with abundance and fulfillment. However, the converse is also true. Dwelling on negativity, fear, and self-doubt creates a distorted reflection, attracting experiences that reinforce those very limitations. The good news is you have the power to rewrite the script. Here's where the magic of mastering correspondence unfolds. By consciously choosing your thoughts and emotions, you become the conductor of your own internal symphony. Think of it like tending a garden. You wouldn't expect to harvest beautiful flowers if you planted weeds and ignored them. Similarly, by nurturing positive emotions like gratitude, love, and forgiveness, you cultivate an inner garden that blossoms into a fulfilling and joyful existence. The principle of correspondence empowers you to take an active role in your own growth. It's not about waiting for external circumstances to change. It's about transforming your inner world, knowing that this transformation will inevitably ripple outward, shaping your experiences in profound ways. Imagine replacing limiting beliefs with empowering affirmations. Instead of dwelling on past failures, visualize yourself achieving your goals. This conscious shift in your inner world, subtle as it may seem, sets in motion a powerful ripple effect. The principle of correspondence offers a plethora of practical tools to help you master this art. Meditation, for instance, allows you to cultivate inner peace and observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Journaling provides a space to explore your inner landscape and identify patterns that may be holding you back. Gratitude practices like focusing on the good things in your life shift your perspective towards an abundance mindset. The universe doesn't judge. It simply reflects. By mastering the art of correspondence, you learn to paint a beautiful picture within yourself, a vibrant landscape of hope purpose, and love, the universe, in turn, becomes your canvas, mirroring back the masterpiece you have created within. This journey of self-discovery isn't always linear. There will be days when negativity creeps in, and the reflection you see in the mirror of the universe may not be what you desire. That's okay. The key is to be gentle with yourself. Acknowledge your emotions, and then consciously choose to shift your focus back to the positive. With consistent practice, mastering correspondence becomes second nature. You'll find yourself radiating positivity, attracting opportunities that align with your deepest desires, and co-creating a life that reflects the magnificence you hold within. This principle invites us to contemplate the hidden connections that bind the universe together, inviting us to look beyond the surface of reality and glimpse the underlying unity that pervades all creation. But the wisdom of as above, so below, 
extends beyond mere observation. It is a call to action, a reminder that we are not passive spectators in the grand universe, but active participants in its unfolding. As above, so below, as within, so without. This timeless truth invites us to recognize the power of our own thoughts, feelings, and intentions, and to embrace our role as co-creators of our reality.